Hello everyone and welcome back to my Realism Overhaul series in Kerbal Space Program 1.0.4. In this episode, we still have that contract to place an artificial satellite in orbit and receive data from it, uh, so we should probably do that first. However, we do have some science here, so let me go to the tech tree and see what we can do with that, and maybe that'll help out. Well, uh, supersonic flight uh, will hold off on still. Uh, those are very good engines, orbital rocketry. Uh, we'll probably be needing it down the road anyway, so that's an investment I should make. But let me just quickly check out. We can get SRBs here. Uh, it looks like we have enough to get uh, basic orbital rocketry as well as the SRBs. But I also want to get solar panels if that's somewhere around. Basic avionics. Hmm. We've had avionics problems before. Okay, so this unit allows control of 300 tons. Pretty heavy. This one, 120 tons, and it's a little bit lighter. That could probably be very useful. Wow, it's all very useful, isn't it? Uh, radiator, parachute, not solar panels. Where are the solar panels? Because we're not going to be able to build a good satellite. Ooh, there's a perturbation data experiment. Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to build a good communication satellite without those panels. Uh, here's here's a solar panel. Okay, so it looks like we have to... Survivability is connected to it. And, uh, and this one is connected to it. Okay. Alright, so that's, that's a lot too. I mean, we could get this one right away without getting this one, it looks like. Let's see, uh, but this is 20 science. Agena Avionics package. Oh, the Agena Avionics package. I use that constantly in the .90 series. So, okay. And there's the generic 1 kN thruster. Pressure fed, not subject to ullage. Ah, okay, so very good. That is, uh, uh, it looks like the ISP has been nerfed. I'm not surprised. Uh, Hopefully there are higher tech levels that allow better tech, uh, better uh, numbers on that. I sure hope so, because that sucks right now. Okay, but uh, yeah, we need better one kilonewton thrusters. I think they might have nerfed that just for me. Anyway, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, well, we, we'll need better engines, probably. Uh, especially as we try and do uh, crewed missions and sending a probe to the moon as it says here so yeah I guess we'll pick up these for that purpose and of course it'll unlock in 169 days so we might as well start now SRBs are an important thing at this stage they're much more valuable now when the ISP of the other engines is fairly low than later on when we get uh, very high ISP engines hmm yeah. Then uh, what's here? I didn't really. We got batteries, but it doesn't look like there's anything interesting here. I'd lay off of that unless it's connecting to something interesting. The basic avionics I probably need. These cost 20 a piece, so it's a trade off between these solids or either of these. The heat shields will be necessary for recovering stuff. And we'll want to do those sorts of missions. But maybe we can do that after getting more science. I think uh, engines first is a good policy. Yeah. And that's got to take 339 days. And we'll uh, get these guidance units as well. Okay. Uh, looks like we've spent our science. I'm not going to purchase any parts until we absolutely need them. Uh, let us go to the VAB and take a look at the Capable 3. Ah, there's the four engine version, four booster version, I mean, of the Capable 3, as opposed to the one we edited down. Um, okay, so we've got two boosters on, uh, size as they were before. So, but I, actually, I think they're a little bit bigger, by the looks of it. Yeah, staging is a little bit weird here, isn't it? Hold on, uh, let me save this as 3A and uh, step out and come back in. Ah, uh, there we go. 
Okay, lots of staging mishap here. What? Oh, and this... Uh, for some reason with the procedural fairing... Uh, what should we call it? Interstage fairing adapter. It always wants to go into the middle of the procedural tank. I'm not too sure what's up with that. But it definitely has that pattern to it. This one looks alright. Just that one. So that's even weirder, since it's not consistent, it just randomly decides to do that. Okay, anyway, um... Gonna give these a little bit more time. These air, uh, these guys, the AJ-10s, are uh, a little bit more efficient than the center engine anyway. So we probably want them burning for, uh, let's say, just 10 seconds shy of the main engine cutout. And let's build... Uh, just one for now. Okay, let's build two. Uh, no, let's let's do some modification and then build another one. Must be something we can do. I mean, obviously we don't have any new technology or anything. Actually, one thing we could do, uh, instead of building a capable, let's step back and... Uh, people kept telling me to spin stabilize the other one. So let's go back to the one with the Vanguard on the bottom and see if we can do some spin stabilization. I still think it doesn't have enough delta V to make orbit anyway, but we can do a spin stabilization launch, if you will. Okay, wow, loading this rocket up, there are some very serious issues with this rocket right now. Again, same problem. Uh, it is the problem with the adapters not being in the right place at all. They seem to migrate even more on this one. Oh, go away. I'm gonna have to fix every every time I want to load a rocket. I'm gonna have to fix it. I'm sure. Hold on. I'm sure there must be a fix somewhere, and I'm just missing it, and that's hidden on GitHub somehow. That's how it always happens. Now, the most common uh, suggestion was to tilt the Ollage rockets just a little bit. So, we want these Ollage rockets just a little bit. Hold on, take that off. Like that. Now, I don't know if that's enough, I don't know if that's too much, or if that's going to work at all. But uh, we'll do. We don't want it spinning too fast, otherwise it's going to uh, cause fuel feed problems. So on this one, we're going to rotate them the opposite direction. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but hey, this is going to be our first spin stabilization test, and we're probably going to have to do a few of these. And this is probably not the only way to do it, either. I have a sneaking suspicion things are just going to go wildly out of control. But, uh, you know, that's just me. I always have a sneaking suspicion that things are going to go wildly, wildly out of control, so... Um, okay, we definitely don't have enough Delta V. We could stand to make the top stages heavier. Probably lose the weak stage here. Or uh, maybe, is there an upgrade available? Nope. Okay, so no upgrade available. Maybe we can just uh, put uh, the AJ-10 boosters on this one as well instead of using these guys. After all, these guys, while, while nifty and all, are not exactly reliable anyway. And not efficient either. So uh, these little uh, XASRs... Well, actually, they're, they're actually more reliable than the AJ-10s because test flight doesn't know about them apparently so I mean that's a factor in their favor two of these provide 60 or so got eight of those uh, at the start providing about 50 odd so it'll add a little bit more power if we switch to just two of these and more efficiency Okay, I'm sold. Seems like our 
Delta V has actually gone down somehow. It sure looks like the version with the Airby sustainers is better than the version with the supposedly more efficient AJ-10s. It can't be just because, I mean, the AJ-10s are, you know, 10 times heavier than the Airby sustainers, so a net increase of mass of a factor of 2, let's say. Um, that can't be it, right? Because the efficiency, the ISP is substantially better. These, uh, the XASR has 200 on the ground. These have 240. Anyway, let me load up the NIC4 that I saved. I'll go back to that for a sec. Ah, you silly computer, you had this right just a second ago and you have to mess it all up. You know, I wonder if the Explorer Core is smaller than that Sounding Rockets avionics package. Let's see, Sounding Rockets avionics package? Yeah, the Explorer Probe Core is smaller. Lighter payload is a good payload. It looks pointy. Should be aerodynamic, right? Let's get the actual guidance unit off, though. Uh, hold on. Now let's get a uh, read on the Delta V here. Uh, 9,246 with 3,036 on the top stage there. 10,000! That's more like it. Well, we can forget the whole AJ-10 situation. Let's, uh focus on getting this right, hey? Let's make this tighter. That's a little battery. Do we need a battery? No, we don't need a battery. We can dump that. Explorer Core, what's your uh, temperature tolerance? 1073. Well, that's pretty bad. We might want a fairing around you. I think with 10,530 we can afford a fairing. We want to protect this little guy, right? I guess that's fair. Oh, that's a weird one. Wasted. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, we'll just have it straight. Seems to be a little tiny gap. Oh, I won't mess with it. Okay, so uh, Nick 5. And this one does have the tilted ullage rockets, which is what people suggested as a way of spin stabilizing, so we'll try that out. And I think this is build worthy now. All right, so avionics is okay. 18 tons, let's build one of these. Uh, actually, let's build uh, two of these. Okay, I've rolled out the, the capable 3A, but we've got uh, stuff building and I don't want to launch at night, so let's just warp to morning. Okay, so now if this works and if I remember all the things I'm supposed to do at the right time and the flight profile and everything a lot of ifs if if all goes well what is going to happen is I'll probably aim for some of the other records with the Nick rockets so we'll see about that and they might be it might be easier to aim for height and speed records with those probably height records more than anything else yeah so uh, or we could uh, try different inclinations since those actually have more delta v more raw delta v than this one does we could do some other things with them okay throttle is up sas is on and uh yeah we'll have smart ass through the first stage we'll have to take it off i'm reminding myself of all this take it off when we transfer to the second stage but put it back on after that and uh yep that is the plan okay here we go light and launch Okay, good. They all lit this time. We'll hand it off to Smart ASS now. So we do have this little pause every few seconds. I still think it's smokescreen. It has a lot to take care of, I guess. I don't know. I didn't have this problem with smokescreen before. But it's definitely pronounced in this version. And uh, tweaking the number of particles changes how often pauses occur. So that's why I conclude the smokescreen. Though it could be a complicated factor 
due to a mix of different mods. So I won't discount that. Yeah, just in case it wasn't clear, uh, actually the first four episodes of the series were all recorded relatively quickly, uh, I, I mean close to each other, and actually before the first episode was released. So that's why I couldn't really incorporate your comments into those episodes. This is after, uh, this is being recorded after episode four was released, so uh, I no longer have excuses, I guess <laughs> you could say. So we will see. There were many suggestions, including using SVEL, but I'm not going to do that one. Now, eventually, KOS has to come into play, and once I'm sure that these rockets can get to orbit, I really ought to write a script for them. But maybe it's better to uh, write the, my first KOS script for what would be our standard commsat launcher. Something that can launch at least a ton into orbit would be the sort of thing. Okay, set. Alright, boosters are away. We've only got 10 seconds left on this stage. Okay, I'm going to take Smart ASS off, SAS on. Set. And ignition. Okay. Looking alright. All right, we continue. Okay, activating RCS. Set. And ignition. Okay, uh, fairing set, right, right. Okay, looking good, halfway through this stage, well, more than halfway through this stage. Set, and ignition. Okay, final stage is ignited. Looks good, we are go for orbit. We will pass apoapsis as usual. I think the flame effect is a little bit off. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a little bit too far into the engine for some reason. Okay, actually we're not gonna pass apoapsis the way we're going right now. Okay, there we go. We are past the apoapsis with just a little bit left to burn in this stage. Wow, shaky, shaky. All right, uh, 304 by 139, and that will be acceptable, I believe. Yes, are we agree agreed on this? Uh, play. Oh, uh, receive data. We have to transmit data. Okay. Uh, well, here's some data. I'm actually surprised that we haven't done that telemetry analysis yet from water. Periapsis above one fi Periapsis above one fifty. Well that's picky, isn't it? When space is one thirty, you want one fifty, huh? Okay, well so this failed. <laughs> Uh, I didn't realize we had to do periapsis above 150 when there's a stable orbit. Let's see what are science. No, we've probably done the rest of the science. Oh no, this one somehow we haven't done. I don't know. I think uh, I because I had problems with the biome file. I actually uh, got the updated biome file, and maybe that's why we were able to do some experiments that we might have done before. I don't know. Anyway, I think it was just those two, though. Okay, uh, we don't need RCS on right now. Uh, nitrous oxide uh, is, is not really angled to give us a boost, and if we turn around, it's going to uh, use it all up anyway. So we can't really use that to 
boost ourselves up any further. I think. Yeah, I doubt it. Yep, yeah, well, we'll just try a different line. Well, I guess while we have nitrous oxide, we might as well try it. Let me take Smart SS off. Let me just uh, turn a bit. Just got to be very patient about it. Of course, the RCS is on the tail there. It's not exactly in the best place to push us forward. Oh, uh, we, have, we have to wait until apoapsis anyway. We can't lift our periapsis from here. Okay, well, let's do that then. Are we likely to get connection anytime soon? Uh, Australia. We'll have to wait till Australia. Gotta figure out how we're pointed. Okay. So... Alright. I have no idea how it's going to keep us stable, but... Well, I don't care about the Aero B sustainer anyway. Hold on. Uh... Oh, I, I think I got it. Hold on. Well, I'm not going to get all the way, I don't think. But I have an idea. So we rotate this away. And once we get to this point, we go like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, if I had figured this out a little bit earlier, maybe we would have had a little bit more chance. Like this. And that's the end of it, but only to 145.63, not 150. Well, valiant attempt, but uh, failure nonetheless. We got some science, though, and uh, we have reasonable expectation to be able to fill this contract anyway. Let's see if there's any more science to be done. Okay, uh, desert. Oh, I've been, I was looking for desert uh, when I came to Australia, but no, we didn't get desert last time, that's for sure. Okay, good. Desert. We're telling you about your deserts, Australia. Excellent. Good. Okay. Alright, well maybe there's some other biomes that we need to find. Now that I've updated the biome file. Could really use highlands. Should be some around here somewhere. Mountains. Come on. Okay, transmit that. That's no good. We're back on grasslands. Okay, shores, yay! We got the temperature scan from Space Above Shores. Alright, I think that does it for this. We've got quite a bit of science. Let's go back to the Space Center. Well, I think it's prudent to queue up another one of these, but maybe we should uh, queue up two. Uh, one with uh, two boosters. We, we're getting to orbit pretty tightly. Maybe we should aim for a higher orbit. And so I'm feeling like maybe having four boosters after all would be a good thing. Now that, uh, I mean, re we reduced it to two boosters because of uh, the need for a quicker construction time. But I think four boosters will get us more decisively up there. Now we do have the engine ignition problem at the start. But we've got time to work through that if necessary, so better to have that failure early on than uh, get close to the wire again. Okay, there we go. Fixed up the situation. And so now, now we can proceed with saving and building this version. And let's build, well, 
We've got funding. Let's build two for good measure, just to make absolutely sure that we get this thing done. Okay, and let's alternate the queues so that uh, we have a NIC-5, then a capable 3B, then a NIC-5, then a capable 3B. Well, that's a pretty long queue. Let's take a look at how our technology is going. We've got 133 days until basic orbital rocketry. Basic avionics, when we get the newer guidance units, is only 49 days away. Uh, so we'll be launching the NIC-5 first, maybe launching the Capable first too since it'll be at the top of the queue by that point. Now I could edit the Capable 2 of course, but I'm holding these in reserve in case of emergencies, so I, I don't know what they could possibly do in the case of emergencies, but you never know. Uh, maybe they'll be able to provide something when I'm, I'm in a pinch, so I'll just keep them there for now. Okay, so we've got the NIC-5 in storage. It looks like 33 more days there. And yeah, that'll be launched ahead of time. Let me... Okay, we've got upgrades available, so I should probably up deploy them. Our uh, development is a little bit slow, isn't it? But I guess it's not too bad. I mean, we're at 1953 and we're getting 1958 technologies. Uh, our build rate... Well, I'll put one point there and I'll put one point here. I guess that's fair enough. Okay, so now let us attempt to launch the NIC-5. Okay, so will I be able to orient this properly? Will the spin stabilization work? Will my ears get blown out by the Arabies? Uh, let's find out. Okay, we do have guidance through the second stage, so let's get a good distance away so that I don't have the hearing issue and ignition and launch okay smart ASS uh, looks like this one has tilted fins I probably should have corrected that Okay, yeah. Gotta have to take manual control of this. Okay, booster set. Alright, we can scooch in here. And, uh, yeah, got uh, tilted fins on the lower stages of this one. Not a good idea. But, uh, well, that's what we've got for the two Nick 5s. Still got plenty of Delta V for orbit. We really would like to go high first. And of course the second stage doesn't have much TWR, so let me give it some time to apoapsis ahead of time. Okay, uh, well I won't uh, have Smart ASS do anything just yet. But actually let me correct its number here. Let me tell it to execute briefly. Uh oh. Uh, okay, that's fine, stabilize there, I just didn't want it going to 74 at any point. Okay, back to SAS. Okay, set, ignition. I'm a little bit worried that I didn't get enough time to apoapsis here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, this is not working out, this is not working out. Oh, okay, that was not a good idea either. Hmm, so I thought this had gimbling. I shut it off uh, by instinct uh, based uh, because of stock. I've been playing too much stock, that's why I shut it off. Uh, when things flip out in stock, it's okay to shut it off and then restart. Obviously not a good idea here, but uh, I don't understand the lack of gimbling at this point points when we thought we had gimbling. Anyway, I'm just going to abandon this... well, I don't know. We don't have that much delta V here. Let's check the spin st stabilization. That's what we should do. Uh, let's get these guys here. Okay. Um, okay. It's spinning. It's spinning.
spin right into the ground. It's not spinning fast enough, it's deviating from where it was pointed. But then again, this atmosphere here. It's not that bad though. Okay, here we go. Well, obviously that wasn't going to work. But I wonder if having it uh, spin the opposite direction will work even in vacuum. Okay, here we go. Will this thing survive? Contrary to all logic. But, well, not all logic. It wasn't going that fast. It was going fast, but... It wasn't going orbital speeds or anything. Okay, well, it uh, survived through re-entry heating, it'll of course die when it impacts the water, but once again very interesting tests of uh, not not entirely unmercury like if you will. A little bit lighter than that though. I mean mercury redstone. Okay we got a splash, alright. Okay, I think I should edit the other Nick 5. Let's let's edit this one. And this is a rush build. Uh, some people pointed out that uh, I could have rush built the the rocket. So first of all, I mean, do you have gambling? Yeah, you have a, a vectoring range of three degrees. You just don't like to use it, do you, AJ10? Um. All right, so we're just going to add a little bit of uh, of the nitrous oxide. I think, I think uh, Nathan Kell chided me for not doing so. I didn't think it was necessary given the very obvious gimbal range there, but uh, clearly this is not working out for us. And it's not just smart ASS when it comes to the AJ10. There's something wrong with the way it it has uh, its gimbling handled. So we'll have a little bit of uh, nitrous oxide to help us out and we'll have those little ports as well uh, I guess we won't tuck them inside because uh, well frankly because I don't have the little curved piece that I used for the other version these guys have 1200 it should be fine okay so we'll have the attitude jets like that and let's see how much we need of the nitrous oxide. Oh, we'll have to configure those little jets for nitrous oxide too. We don't need that much. After all, the most important thing for this stage is to orient the thing properly. Let's fix the fins as well. Okay, so we still have a lot of delta V, it's fine. Um, now I don't want this thing rotating. This hundred percent should be fine. Don't need them that strong. How strong do I have these? It's probably the same as what I had the previous one. Oh, we have mass strength hundred. Okay, well, I think we can do with 0.65. I haven't seen them breaking off or anything. Mm, bit of VAB lag here. Why for you lag VAB? Update Nick five voxelization time three seconds don't know what voxelization time is okay well we're through it now I think that must be far is that right it might be because of the aerodynamic pieces hmm that was a weird bit of lag though okay uh, I won't mess with the fins anymore then. Don't want to waste any time. Okay, so we've got Delta V, we've got all the things. Let's see if this version works. Uh, we'll still call it Nick 5. The other Nick 5 didn't work out for us anyway. Okay, and we want the Nick 5 ahead of the other capable th 3B. Okay, let us launch the capable 3B. Okay, I guess the main question is whether all of the AJ-10s are going to start or not. And that's going to be... Uh, well, that's going to be the question. So, SAS on, throttle up, and ignition. 
And they don't. Okay, let's shut down and recover. <sighs> Just two of them. Two out of four. And that's not the right one. They all say okay. Well, no, okay, now that's changed. <laughs> uh, it was 700 uh, seconds and now it's 38 minutes. Hmm, I don't know what to make of that. Um, okay, well, yes, let's just recover. Just for you to know, our deadline is within one year and 290 days. It's a little bit more complicated than the last one, I think. Uh, okay, so we've got the above 150 kilometer thing, unmanned, low space. We have to uh, transmit some sort of science. I mean, so I guess that's all right. Completion doesn't give us very much. Uh, all of it was in advance, really. Okay, I should pick up this Earth mm -hmm. data from space around Earth, uh, science data from space around Earth. We've got to be doing that anyway. Um, we can pick up another contract. Sounding rocket high sounding rocket medium but we've had trouble with these before okay we will hold on to what we've got there okay let's just warp to complete the Nick 5 actually the basic avionics will be finished first but we're not getting our other engines yet let's take a look at upgrades nothing new okay here we go getting some distance because of the noise SAS on, throttle up. Fins should be straight, so Smart ASS shouldn't have any problems, maybe. Here we go. Okay. The Arabies have had their say, and now I can talk. Um, so obviously we're aiming higher than last time, mainly because of the second stage being so weak. Okay, RCS on. Gotta go to Smart ASS just in case. Set. And ignition. Okay, ignition is good. And it looks like we're stable. Oh, I didn't even configure the ports. I forgot uh, I had to configure the ports to nitrous oxide. So actually, this is just uh, this is just the AJ-10 right now. Hopefully, it can hold on here. Okay, no, no, I can't. Okay, well, I'm gonna shut it off, and I'm going to rely on the spin stabilization of the other stages to at least get us to an altitude record maybe. Okay. They yeah, well, my fault for not configuring the ports properly. Okay, well these this is wrong here. Oh. Oh, shoot. I had to throttle down. Well, this was just a complete failure on my part. I could ignite one, but it'll be totally unbalanced. Um, why does it... It's not recognizing my throttle anyway. Hmm. Why isn't it recognizing my throttle now? It's actually not recognizing any... Oh, uh, stage is locked somehow. Oh, the... well, now it isn't. I don't understand. Okay, lots of fail on that one. Lots of fail today in general. Let's get some science going, just to make myself feel better, since we did accumulate some science. That's being done. Uh, it was one of these low ones. Well, we can get some more scientific instruments here, and better attitude control. Surely we need that. Film return camera, I guess that sounds good. Okay, let's research this one. That'll take 317 days. So, okay. Before I do anything else, I'm going to fix those attitude jets and make sure that they're configured for the right stuff. Nitrous oxide, please. Yes, thank you. And 
let me hide GUI. Make sure that it's supplied to all the symmetry groups. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, so, yes. Not, not the greatest day in rocket history. I think maybe I should call it quits and reset at this point. You gotta admit though, it uh, does look a lot like, like uh, the real launch history uh, that you might see in early rocketry, but uh, not exactly what I was aiming for. Okay, uh, let, let's queue these, uh, let me queue two more of these up. Heck, let's move the Nick 5 up and uh, let's give it one more try before I finish this episode. Here we go again. Throttle is up, SAS is on. Ignition and launch. Set. Okay, boosters are off. Okay, add to control using nitrous oxide. Looks like it's using nitrous oxide. Set. And ignition. Oh, but the nitrous oxide isn't good enough and we didn't have ignition. Well, propellant looks very stable. Can it get us pointed in the right direction for the next bits? At least. I wonder why that one. Okay, well, now that one is pointing. Okay. Maybe it's just not very well balanced, I guess. I don't know. Do you still have an ignition? No. Just didn't ignite, right? I guess it was. Uh, this one is subject to test flight, so. Uh, hold on. Let's get you down a little bit. Well, we're not getting, gonna get to orbit, but. Hey, we'll see how this spin stabilization works in thinner atmosphere and space, at least. Gotta look at the plus side here. Okay, these are again in the wrong place. Alright, let's go. Okay, looking good as far as the stabilization is concerned. Okay, set. Now the country-wise spin, good idea or bad idea? Well, it's spinning. It didn't uh, just kill it to a standstill, so that's okay. And it probably saved us from fuel feed issues, maybe, I don't know. Let's try and aim for a high altitude, maybe that's something we can do. What's the high altitude contract right now? Well, we can do the space around Earth uh, science, but uncrewed altitude record of 500 kilometers. We've been there before, but uh, not with the contract, so... Probably we will get to that. High G forces. Okay. There we go. Well, spin stabilization fans, we have spin stabilized. <laughs> Unfortunately, not uh, not to the ideal situation, because, mainly because the AJ-10 stage didn't light. I think we would have had enough if the AJ-10 stage had lit. Yeah, and it looks like the attitude control jets were able to do the trick if we had the engine power. So that's okay. Uh, maybe we need uh, double the jets just to make sure it's pointed properly consistently, but yeah. 
it, it'll be all right. Let's let's do some science maybe. Uh, oh, why do we have a? Hmm. Okay. There there isn't anything to do here, is there? And I haven't action grouped the stuff for the explorer here. I wonder what those experiments were then. Radiation da data. Does it still uh, obey the trick where if I transmit this, it still thinks that data was transmitted? Yeah, it does. Oh well. I guess that's one thing Realism Overhaul couldn't get rid of. Okay, yeah, we got that contract done. Is there a new contract yet? Or are they going to wait until later to give us that? Probably wait until later. Okay. Well, if I thought there was going to be any grand triumph or uh, or some way to bounce back from dismal failures, I guess. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. But we do have stuff cooking. And uh, probably once those get get done we'll be able to aim for the moon I think we'll we'll work towards that but uh, I see that even though orbit is a little bit of a difficult thing right now but uh, I feel I feel more confident than I did uh, in the middle of the previous episode that's for sure so yeah anyway we've we've had some interesting launches and I think the unpredictability of it is uh, if a little bit depressing for me at least potentially entertaining for you so we'll leave it at that, and I'll say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.